there are many of us looking at me the grace of God keeps hovering around you bringing open doors that an inaccurate spiritual understanding continues to close let me tell you what many of us are doing this illusion that we have one day go better is a slang that we use in nigerian parts of africa to mean one day arbitrarily without any effort or contribution on your own part things will change is a joke joke multiplied god has called me to be a visionary politician obtain grace from god and sit in your office in the night begin to strategize how to rise to that position as you are strategizing the spirit of god is seeing your diligence and the engracing of god is coming to empower you hear me some of you need to politely go back home and call your family and say i now find out why we keep praying and doors keep closing because there is something to do to rise There are people who God will speak to and say, tomorrow you'll be a director of an institute there. But the director requires you have at least a master's or a PhD or become a professor. If you obtain grace and go to school, you are participating with that grace to rise to that position of influence. It will not come and meet you at that state because that industry requires that degree of qualification. So training, diligence, studies, knowledge are all our participatory efforts to make good the grace of god let me submit to you and i say this sincerely by the god of my salvation every night including today as tired as i am when i just returned from lagos you know that i've been to abel kota from abel kota the men's conference four square to lagos and back straight here and after this there will be people to see and after all it doesn't matter what time as a principle and as a discipline i must listen to this message this night myself before i sleep don't covet people's crowns until you find out the sacrifice that those crowns are standing on. oh you are just lucky it's just god's grace business people hear me this may be the holy spirit speaking to you i know i will prosper oil and gas i know i will prosper banking god showed me you are right but believe me remaining at that state will only frustrate you and bring reproach to your life these signs shall follow them follow means you are moving follow means you are taking steps the grace of God to empower Esther to receive favor was there but if Esther sat down she would not find favor with the king she said you know what I need to see this king my people are about to die I believe I'm favored so I'm going to see him if I perish, I perish. listen now i'm not encouraging you to be a hustler that thing we call hustle blindly trying to make things work don't do that but have you noticed that people who don't give up never end up in shame for some reason have you seen people like that they may not even be very serious believers as soon as one door closes they have no time to mourn they force another one to open they are losing their job they grieve for two hours and they are up with their cv again They have an e version they have their bag with the, the 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 cv any version you want they are prepared there are people like that are you into real estate they will say yes in two nights they will read about real estate more than people who have been in it in 10 years because they will not let that opportunity go sooner or later my brothers and sisters you will be surprised to find out that something will work i'm not just marketing flesh i'm teaching you how the grace of god works hear me there are many of you for a long time god has shown you that there are mantles there are anointings you've had dreams you've had visions let me see what you are doing as proof that you believe what god showed you for many of us this is what we are doing 
were folding her arms oh one day the fathers would die and it would be a turn what sort of thinking is that oh i know don't laugh at me i know one day i will rise <laughs> it doesn't work that way i know god will prosper me show me the books you bought in honor of that word show me the uncommon mentors you are pursuing in the area of finances with proven results as proof that you believe you are a kingdom financier found out respectfully speaking that if the body of christ does not learn the labor dimension of faith we will continue to mock ourselves jumping at confessions that will indefinitely remain in the realm of the spirit not inaccurate but that lack of balance and completion is where our frustrations lie joshua there is a grace for victory upon you but it will not be without any effort from you you are going to go around you don't have the power to fight but there must be a token of contribution from you get the priests go around i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea they won it's like going around abuja i told you don't think it was just a small room they went around going around jericho was hard work they did it for seven days and he said now on the last day that you want to see the biggest blessings you will do what you have done every day on that day alone seven times now man i release a grace upon you for wellness but go and look for a river dirty bath there Naman was saying what sort of thing? you are insulting my pedigree say okay you can remain with your leprosy but if it is god you want to see cure you go and bath Naman dipped himself once came out looking like a child playing in mud he was not healed dipped himself again came out the second time even the sixth time nothing happened but when he went the seventh time that grace in the water there and as soon as he came out the bible says his skin was like that of a child what of blind Bartimaeus? what of the man that did beautiful acts chapter 3 i believe the bible says it was the hour of prayer listen very carefully the man was begging for arms peter and john went to pray and then when they saw him what do you want i want arms silver and gold he said i have none but such as i have there is a grace he gave us i give unto you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk the man remained on the ground there don't think he just jumped up no he remained on the ground there verse 7 hear what peter said for as long as you are remaining there this grace would not work let me help you hold my hands and he moved him the bible says and as he lifted him immediately his feet and his ankle bone received strength not when he was sitting at the instance of his participatory role that grace came upon him brothers and sisters please hear me it will never happen sitting down rest does not mean lack of efforts rest means dependence on God God's idea of rest does not mean leaving anything and sitting down there no rest means that your dependence the energizing and the empowerment remember when there were few automatic cars cars that use automatic gear you have to put the manual gear remember from four you come back to three to two one and then four three two one and your hand is almost as if it's removing but now you have an automatic gear system but who holds the steering there is a system that keeps changing gears but you leave the steering and hold your hand and close your eyes and almost immediately you end your life but by holding on to the steering listen to me 
the advantage of the automatic gear system is to give you more room to focus and to provide convenience so people can drive while they are talking and they are just driving while they are talking it would not be it would not be possible with the manual system just like that this is how grace works grace does not drive the car for you it helps you to engage the gear system so that whilst you hold it and it also empowers you and gives you the strength my brothers and my sisters obtain grace from god today find out what you need to do about your destiny rise up knowing that i have the backing of heaven open fire towards your destiny and in one month you will do more than you have done in 10 years put together then you will come and stand here and when we say how did it happen you will say the grace of god and we will know what you are saying Apostle, I want to be anointed. God will anoint me, I know. is my God. You are right. But that's not how it works. There are keys to the anointing. When you sit down and you are learning and you are studying while others are sleeping, you are maximizing grace. When you are listening to uncommon mentors help you and show you the way it works, you are maximizing grace. Every participatory effort that you put, knowing that I'm not putting this effort in the flesh, I am maximizing grace this is why there are certain people who continue to triumph from one level of victory to the other whereas there are many spectators who sit down and hope that things will happen the grace of God an enabler a divine help if I think I engage my mind but I don't have the power to give myself ideas the grace can bring ideas while my mind like a womb receives them and births them so if you ask me how did the idea come i will say the grace of god but the idea came and manifested because my mind was fruitful to it when god sent me to this city by the grace of god and with every sense of humility i knew that his grace and his name was there to back me but if i sat down i folded my arms and i know I, I one day it will happen don't worry you will be blessed tomorrow would come and even next tomorrow and nothing would ever happen but that effort in faith from one step to another step to another step his grace leading you his grace guiding you